Tom Cotton gave a speech at the conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, on disability benefits, and he made multiple outlandish claims. There seems to be, at least at the county and regional level, something like a disability tipping point. When a county hits a certain level of disability usage, disability becomes a norm. It becomes an acceptable way of life and an alternative source of income to a good-paying, full-time job, as opposed to a last-resort safety net program to deal with catastrophic injury and illness. After a certain point, when disability keeps climbing and becomes endemic, employers will struggle to find employees or begin or continue to move out of the area. Population continues to fall and a down, downward spiral kicks in, driving once thriving communities into further decline. Not only that, but once this kind of spiral begins, communities could begin to suffer other social plagues as well, such as heroin or meth addiction and associated crime. An urgent policy goal, therefore, should be to stop these tipping points from being reached. That was incredible. <laughs> no, that was beyond outlandish. Now, I know he's incredibly boring, so it was probably hard to pay attention as he was speaking there. But he said that disability benefits leads to people being addicted to crystal meth and heroin. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you just totally made that up! <laughs> no, this is incredible. They will use any argument to try to say we got to cut the social safety net for your own benefit for your own good if we don't cut it look it leads to that it leads to people being addicted to crystal meth and heroin and what are you going to do man disability becomes a way of life all right understand something guys is there a decent amount of uh, social security disability fraud yes uh should we fight that should we investigate that and bring an end to that and continue to combat it as much as humanly possible? Yes. Does that then therefore mean you get to make up arguments about how just having disability leads to people doing crystal meth and heroin? No, there's no, that's not true. There's no connection. He's simply doing that because he does want to generalize about everybody who takes disability benefits, and he wants to use this as a Trojan horse argument to cut the entire thing. And... Little food for thought here so you really know where these guys are coming from. The Democrats proposed not that long ago a bill that would have increased funding to the department that checks for fraud, waste, and abuse in Social Security disability. You know who blocked it? The Republicans. And the Democrats told them, look guys, we're spending more up front here so that we can save more money in the long run because they're going to get more money back and save more money because they'll find fraud, waste, and abuse and when they cut back on that, the program actually is a net surplus because we're paying up front here for them to do their job and save the government money. The Republicans are like, nope, nope, we're not in favor of it. So the Democrats are saying, let's fight fraud, waste, and abuse in this particular program, and the Republicans block it. And then Tom Cotton goes out there and says, you know, we really got to fight fraud, waste, and abuse in this program, man, because then it leads to heroin addiction and meth addiction. <laughs> no, you guys blocked fighting it because it's not really about that. You don't care about the fraud, waste, and the abuse. You want to get rid of the entire program and gut it, which is why you're willing to make up arguments about how, yeah, man, social safety net program, you hurt your back or something, you're getting some help. Next thing you know, you're sucking dicks behind an Arby's to get some crystal meth. 